You've got your full sheet of wraps here. You can cut them in half straight away so you know that you've just got your one hand here. The first thing I'm going to do is measure up which wrap I'm going to use on that finger. Cut it off the sheet. Okay, so I know that this is going to do both fingers, one on each hand. So just prepare that. So I've got that ready to go. So to prepare the nail, I'm just going to use a cuticle pusher. Make sure you push your cuticles right back. This will make sure that you get a perfect bond on your nail with the wrap. The next thing to do is a buffer. Just going to give your nail a little buff. This helps you get a tight seal on your nail as well. Okay, so the first step once you've got your wrap ready to go is to remove it off the backing. So you can use your orange stick that you use to push your cuticles back. You can use the tip of a nail file, scissors. You just want to make sure that you don't touch the back of the wrap at all because it will affect the way that it seals to your nail. Just going to give it a little heat and you'll see it curl. Three to five seconds is all it takes. And I'm just going to pop it down. Lots of pressure. Once it's on your nail, it's always good to pull both sides up on the top. It ensures you get a really good seal and it ensures you don't have any of your wrinkles up the side. So you want to get it as tight as you can on there. And you can actually feel, as you're pulling it, you can feel that it's sealing quite well. So then pressure again, so a cuticle pusher, even just your thumb, I mean anything, just to really, really get some pressure on there. And then we're going to remove the remainder. Uh, you can use your file or your clippers, nail scissors, anything that, anything that you would normally use. So I'm going to use the clippers. And I actually clip some of my nail with the wrap as well. I find that they last a lot longer if I do that. And did you know that the wraps actually last um, up to two weeks on your fingernails and up to four weeks on your toe nails? I'm just going to heat it again to finish off. A little bit more pressure. If you've got any rough edges, you can use a buffer on the end. And that's it. Good to go. I love this design. It's so cute. I'm finding the application really easy. Much easier than I expected. So really, really, um, really easy to apply. I can't feel them at all. They're a lot better than if you've got like hard acrylic on or something, you can't feel them. And uh, I think the best part is that there's no wait time at the end for drying, which is where I normally screw up my nails.